pressure. So um, we've got a relatively small box. I think either character is going to be okay with a smaller box. Um, both characters have the ability to ring out after like the last hit of that wall breaks. Uh, we'll see if that comes into play. If anything, oh okay. So we're starting off with the uh, with the Grow 2018. It looks like we're getting a little bit of skipping, so I'm wondering if uh, we're seeing uh, a little bit of lag. But yeah, 2 2 a definitely going to be able to beat out that 6-6-A. Um, so he definitely has that. I'm just curious to see if he has that kind of thing out of stance. Already catching so many buttons that Isaac Chance is using. Uh, definitely quite a lot of hits. Uh, yeah, you you missed... Uh, well, you kind of saw... Uh, yeah, I kind of saw. Yeah, that's basically how the first round ended up going. Nice. So yeah, um, Icy Chains doesn't have any pants. We're going to see if he's going to be able to get them next game. Um, gets the 6-6-A-B. I'm surprised that it ended up working. Yeah, I'm surprised as well. Unfortunately, you know, it's not season one. You're not going to be able to get the wall split off of it. Yeah. And this is that string pressure we were talking about earlier. And a huge call out. You have the anti-mash. You can't yeah. mash there, Rich Dick says. The yeah, there's combo. three times in a row that he's uh, caught that mash. And so you can mash. You just need to pick a slower move. Yes, or pick a different cool. spot, right? Uh, yeah. And, and Rich Dix has just been on point with that. I just mean to say that, like, if instead of going for, like, an AA or a 6-6-A, the way that Isaac Chains has been doing it, if he had gone wholehearted read on the GI and did, like, a 6-A plus B there, it would work. Mm -hmm. uh, is it ringing Oh, no. not quite the right angle. I think he was a little too low on that wall splat, and there's yeah. that 1-B able to take the round. That's a... Phenomenal low that Maxi has. It's yep. super long range, extremely wide hitbox, and is a mix up on block on how to punish it. Yeah, that's always been the case. It's been one of the um in Soul in Soul uh, Soul Caliber Five. Uh, that move was really good, and Maxi in Five was a pretty radically different character than he is in Six. In Six, especially now with Heaven's Guard, you have the ability to go through all these stances and everything. Uh, Maxi not really. I mean, he had the stances in five, but they weren't particularly usable. Meanwhile, the moves that he had outside of stance were actually quite powerful. And so you basically, Maxi was one of those characters and you had a handful of these, Aeon was another one like this. Um, you had a handful of characters in SE5 that um, if you looked at their whole move list, 90% of it was pretty garbage, but then that 10% was actually like some of the best moves in the game. Yeah, definitely. Um, so yeah, definitely kind of a different thing that we're dealing with here. Um, Icy Chain's trying to match the colors. We're definitely getting an Axel's Loser's Final. <laughs> wow, that chip damage on that kick was kind of crazy. Yeah, something else. Okay, going in again, catching Icy Chain's, trying to mash. The string pressure not like it. There we go. Picks a good time to mash, trying to take his turn back. But I feel like that jumpy, well, maybe that jumpy was intentional. It just seemed like an odd choice there. Yeah. Ooh, oh, that's the round, right? That's a lot of damage for sure. Yep. And yep, that's it. Gets the round, gets the meter. That's some tough stuff. Icy Chains isn't going to have a lot of time to figure it out. I appreciate the fact that like Icy Chains has been getting this um, run all the way up into Duck, into Wall Rising A stuff. Not just on Rich Sticks, but on a lot of people in this tournament. Yeah, well, Wall Rising A from Grow was a really good move. Only negative yeah, 12 on block, gives a knockdown into a force block. And that's the round. Uh, yeah, the Rich Dix is just going ham right now. Yep. He is, even where the, the, the situations where Icy Change is picking a good spot to mash, it's only like an AA, which the amount of damage that Rich Dix is getting on the, the correct decision on saying like, hey, you can't mash here with like an AGI is just substantially more. But speaking of substantial damage, uh, hey. <laughs> but that's going to scale heavily. Yeah, that yeah, basically but, didn't do any damage at all. If, if anything, that was actually lost because the amount of soul gauge meter he lost due to uh using the one ak yeah but it looked cool so like you know, it did look pretty cool nice, oh it doesn't give him the lethal hit i'm surprised and that's gonna be the game so yeah kind of like going back to what you were talking about um i just feel like both of these guys and these characters are playing very similar games of brawling in their face back and forth and everything it's just that uh, Maxi has the ability to go into frame traps and stance pressure much more easily than Gro does. And Gro's pokes. So essentially, what Icy James would like to do is do stance stuff the way that Rich is doing stance stuff. But 
again, Maxi is able to do that a lot better than uh, Gro does. Yeah, I, couple I that with say... the, so now you have Gro doing pokes against Maxi doing stand stuff, and he's just yeah. losing out on damage, kind of well, like for sure. what you were talking about. Mm-hmm. I, I would say it's like it's like this. It's like Maxi is, is a stance character, as where Gro is a character with who a has a stance. Yeah, I yes, see what you mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they're they they sound kind of similar, but they're vastly different things, right? Right. So, like it's like. Like Mitsurugi. Mitsurugi is a character with stances. He's not a stance character. Right. Uh, it's where you look at like Ma- Maxi or like Siegfried or something. Like those are stance characters. Like the like stances you, are an integral part of their game plan. Like if you look at a particular guy who is uh, unusually obnoxious, that guy is a dick. But then you have yes. another guy, and uh, other guys typically just like have dicks. So it's different. Yeah. It's different. Sounds similar is different. Nice block punish though from Icy Chains on the 2-2-A. This is the first time that we've actually seen Icy Chains really get some sort of momentum on his own. Yes, he is, but Rishik's able to block around and just dances all the way around him and changes the positioning. Yeah, 6 6 aa not exactly... I mean, it's safe on block, but it's not exactly something that you feel wholeheartedly comfortable challenging all the time, even for somebody like Icy Chains. Uh, so yeah, definitely taking that time to get away from the ring out. Okay, nice. Going in with a low, but it's negative on hit. Richix just mashing out of it. Great GI, though, from Icy Chain. It doesn't get anything out of it other than pressure. Yeah, 4 4 definitely a very fantastic frame trap. Grows almost constantly uh, mash after that move on block, uh, and it basically always works. But, uh, yeah, again, getting out damaged by um, some slightly heavier pokes. Like, look at the amount of damage that Grow took off of, like, like two hits. Mm-hmm. You need to use Soul Charge just to, like, try and keep up. Yeah, and that's one thing Rich Dix is very good at. He's very good at placing 2As to disrupt your pressure. If he knows it's fake, he's going to be hitting 2A there. That is something that is a very consummate uh, Maxi kind of skill. Maxi always notorious for having a solid 2A. Um, but at the same point, it is a weakness that you can exploit uh, with certain characters. Mm-hmm. Not really something that you're going to see from Grow all that much, unfortunately. Yeah, Grow can't really do it too much without Soul Charger to do the Steam of the Night stuff like we're seeing right now. I appreciate the fact that Rich stayed on the ground for as long as he could stand it <laughs> to, to try and mitigate the amount of damage that he was going to... Um, is this? And that's the ring out. No, it's not. Yeah, it is. Yes, it is. I was kind of worried that the, uh, the wall was going to screw Icy Chains yet again by slightly angling it towards the stone outside of the fence. But um, yeah, it was still okay. Ooh, okay. Wow. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I guess uh, the move... Doesn't end in tech route, and this is going to be a nice soul attack in this dance mix. Yeah, these um, GIs in some of these stances have basically had a 100% success rate against Ice. Yeah, he 